Welcome to the Gadget Show with me, Craig Charles, and this trio of gadget grandmasters. <laughs> this is the ultimate of big boy toys. Oh, I've only got little legs, remember? Oh, some they think. It's all now. Oh, like that. We don't want that. Just arrived at the shopping mall and it's really cold and empty in here. And the best case scenario is that tomorrow morning I will still be here after having been in a virtual reality headset for over 25 hours. Hey! Hey! They got it last week, I'm going to it. And I've even got a little video clip to prove that I did it. In 2017, the average UK home is now more connected than ever before. Collectively, these bits of technology are known as the Internet of Things, and by 2025, it's predicted that it will be over 75 billion in the world, which equates to at least 10 for every home. 95 million photos are posted to Instagram every single day, and you know a percentage of that is then reported. Mm. They haven't yet found out a computer system or AI system that is able to review these photos. What is it? What is Pokemon Go? OK, so it's an augmented reality mobile game, and it's basically like a real-life treasure hunt. Um, you have to go out and catch as many Pokemon as possible, but instead of doing it in the virtual world, you have to go out and find them in the real world. The UK has spent some £50 million on developing surveillance drones. Drone squadrons are set to be an extension of police intelligence, response units and street presence. Prepare to be enlightened uh, as we're joined once again by our resident tech guru, Georgie Barrett. So let me show you the first one. It's called Wakey and it basically connects with other people around the world. So you get a phone call to wake you up. Should, should we give it a go? I'm going to keep a note of all the team spirometer readings and monitor any changes in fitness over the coming weeks. Press start and then you want to just blow. <laughs> that felt weak, not going to lie. Really? 